So, it's snow and it's uh, coming in. And as you can see on our street, there is no snow yet. Uh, that's cool because then I don't have to shovel it. <laughs> or snow blow it. Um, I got a feeling this year is going to be different. I got a feeling that we're going to be in this a bit early. So, I'll try to give you some road shots as I drive up there. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. I'll give you as best shots as I can while I'm driving. See, here we go. Huh? Look at that. Yeah, here we're coming up to the peak here. Uh, the sign was even covered, said 6,000 feet. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Can't read the signs because they're snowed over. I was born in the morning under a tree by the sea. And you know what? See that car up ahead that's got the snow on top? I don't know if you can see it. I'll probably get up to him, I'll give you a better shot. I don't leave snow piled up on the top of my car, nor in the back of my window, for a couple of reasons. Number one, there he is. Number one, I don't want to have vision problems. I want to see out the perimeters. Number two, as it warms up, the snow bombs, as I would call them, fall off the car. They slide off the car. They impede the people behind you. They fall on your windshield in front of you. Stupid, stupid, stupid. His lights are covered up. And he's driving up the hill. What the hell? Oh, yeah. His lights are covered up. You couldn't see if his blinker was on. I mean, wipe off the car. I see this all the time. Here he is again. He went zooming by, had his blinker on. He couldn't see his blinker. You can put your blinker on all day in the car, sir. But if you don't wipe off the lens outside, no one's going to see it. Gosh. Yeah, see, don't let your car build up like that. You did it again, bo another bozo. There's a smart guy. Wipe off the car. Good. Here, let me run over this. Oh, I just went over a big snowball. <laughs> I'm probably dragging it. Hey, here's the parking lot. Look at it. It becomes a mess. And then all the lines go away and nobody knows how to be organized and park. Ooh. Hey, see you guys later. It's been a great time. It's Leah. And it's Wednesday. Happy hump day to you. Hump day. about it I was like how did I vlog last year in the car so much on my way back and forth to work then I realized oh I was working eight hour shifts instead of ten hour shifts now I kind of go to work in almost the dark and I come home in the dark it sucks so it leaves a very little time for vlogging Finally got some snow. Look at that. Look at that. Not very much on the valley floor, but a dusting. We got a little more than this at our house. And the mountains. You will see here in Nevada's. I think this is more than we got in the whole of last year. I'm probably exaggerating probably am exaggerating but it's what it felt like so anyway I'm driving to work
fire truck. Big red truck. That way. <laughs> Anyways, this is amazing. I'm just letting you know that this time of year we have some of the most incredible sunrises. Yeah. Gorgeous view, huh, Mother? And where are we? Where are we? Yep, we're in the hospital. But at least we have a view like that. That's right. What happened, Mom? What happened? What happened? Yeah. How'd you get in here? Yeah, how'd you get in here? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know. Had a little tummy trouble. So, here we be. Just like the last time. Squish them. So, yeah. We're hanging out. Hanging out. Me and the mother. Grandma chicken not feeling so good. I know. We've called the nurse because as you can hear, we're beeping. And uh, so I think we're going to be here at least for another 24 hours, maybe more, depending on what the x-rays show. We'll see. Just relaxing out on the patio. Still in Santa Cruz. Oh yeah. Drinking, eating. It's a good day. Judy's gonna come out and teach us how to play cards.